Hey everyone, Chris Bennett here, Blockchain Beard Guy. I want to talk today uh, at a real high level about something that I think is just a really cool topic and I can't get this idea out of my head. I've been thinking about this for the past couple weeks and uh, it's just an idea I can't shake and I wanted to share with everyone here. Um, you know, I get asked a lot, what, what is the potential upside of blockchain? How big could this industry be? How game-changing could it be? Um, and I think with any new technology, it's, it's easy to get carried away and think that it's, it's going to be revolutionary. Um, but I think blockchain is, is one of those special exceptions where it's really hard to underestimate the impact it's going to have. And the reason I say that is because of SpaceX. So let me connect those dots for you. Uh, if you watched a few weeks back, you might have seen Falcon Heavy launch, um, <clears throat> the second biggest rocket in human history, only to the Saturn V. And uh, that is designed to help get humans out into deeper space, and most importantly, uh, help to get supplies out to Mars, so that when humans show up, we've got some supplies there waiting for us. Uh, Elon and SpaceX are very, very committed to getting us to Mars in the next five to eight years, and I, I really think it's gonna happen. Um, and what you gotta understand is when we get there, we have humans and a whole human economy on a, a separate planet. So we are about to, in the next 10 years, add an entire second planet to the human economy. And if you think how big certain economic events have been in history, like the Louisiana Purchase, for example, this is absolutely going to dwarf it. Uh, we're going to have a second planet full of resources at our disposal. And when that happens, traditional centralized models aren't going to work. If you saw my video on IPFS, I explained how centralized internet isn't going to work in a multi-planetary society. And centralized economics, centralized finance, centralized banking, that's not going to work in a multi-planetary economy too. Folks on Mars, folks on Earth, um, folks out mining various asteroids in the belt, as crazy as it sounds it's coming, they're all going to need a way to interact and trade and exchange and make a living from one, one another. And uh, blockchain is really the decentralized way to make that happen. Uh, there's really, I can't see any sane or logical way to make something this big uh, happen in a centralized model. So that's just this idea I keep turning over in my head. I think it's a, a really fascinating thing to think about. That the potential upside to blockchain is not only everything it enables here on Earth, but it also becomes this enabling technology for humans to become a multi-planetary society. And the amount of economic growth and wealth and opportunity that is about to be opened up, because humans now have a second planet um, to capture and process resources from, is, is just going to be absolutely tremendous, unlike anything else in human history, and uh, we get to be alive to see it. So, pretty awesome, just some cool thoughts I've been having if you're thinking about getting into blockchain and uh, wonder what the potential upside might be, there's kind of my uh, 50,000 foot view on how big it could possibly be someday. So really, really exciting times to be alive. I hope that's not lost on y'all. It's so easy, I think, sometimes to get weighed down with the bad news and the day-to-day -day stuff that's going on. But this is absolutely the most fascinating time in human history to be alive. And I'm just so thankful to be a part of it. So anyway, uh, getting a little philosophical here on this episode, but uh, just really cool idea that I wanted to share with everybody. So Hope y'all are having a great day. It's a great day out here in Colorado. Uh, a lot of action around blockchain. People are excited. People are pumped. Every day the space is getting bigger and the people inside it are getting more and more excited. So just an awesome time to be a part of blockchain. Hope you guys are getting excited about it. If you have any questions, you can always shoot me a message or better yet, uh, post something up on LinkedIn. Tag me in it. And then we can all talk about it, share the answer, and learn together. So until next time, this is Chris Bennett, your blockchain beard guy.